Make my dress. I don't. I don't have combat pay. All right. <laughs> the Hebrew word for death is mavet, similar to muerta, because all languages come from Hebrew. The Hebrew certificate for divorce in Hebrew, in the Torah, says if, you, if your wife displeases you, write her a certificate of divorce, a get. But we get the English word, uh, hello, would yeah. you be so kind and get? <laughs> All languages come from Hebrew. Hebrew was the language of the Garden of Eden. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. And it'll be the language of the kingdom restored. Yeah. It's funny, all the Jews, can we talk? All the Jewish people come to B'nai Yeshua and they complain it's too Jewish. Too much Hebrew, we want more English. The Ephraimites, or the ten tribes of non-Jewish Israelites, those of you who are not Jewish, you come and you want more Hebrew. You can't get enough? Go figure. So metu shalach means, listen, when he is dead, it shall come. When who's dead? the rising teacher. When the rising teacher is gone, meaning ascended, I'm sorry, then Metushelach means, um, let, me, let me rephrase that. When Metushelach, scratch that. When Metushelach is dead, then the flood shall come. Oh, shoot. So his death, Metushelach, following the rising teacher, the blessed ale would bring the waters of the flood or the waters of judgment and bring the flood when Metushelach died. Met, Metushelach is made up of two Hebrew words. Met, Lishloach. When he met or dies, Lishloach, it will be sent. What will be sent? The flood waters of Noah or the flood waters of judgment. So when Metuselah, Metushelach dies, it will be sent. The flood waters of judgment. To God of Yahweh. So the risen, the risen teacher will come, and Enoch will beget who? Look at verse 21. Chanok begot metu shelach. Chanok begot, am I skipping any generation? Not a one. Not skipping a single generation. Chanok, notice, listen, notice. Chanok. Begot, verse number um, 21, Metushelach. So when the risen teacher rises and Metushelach dies, the flood of the, of the waters of judgment will come, not a day before. When he dies, after the risen teacher rises, the flood will come. In the same way, Today, when Yeshua died and rose again, the flood of the Ruach HaKodesh came. But it didn't come until the, the, the Yared, the, the Blessed El, who came down from heaven, teaching and rising, then the waters of the Ruach HaKodesh came upon the Kihila. Does this blow your mind? Welcome home. We've been waiting for you. Tadara Yahweh. Here is the best Torah, the good news. Let's recap. Adam begot Seth. Seth begot Enosh. Enosh begot Canaan. Canaan begot Mechalel. Mechalel begot Yared. Yared begot Enoch. Enoch begot Metushelach, meaning man who was appointed to mortal sorrow. However, the blessed El will come down from heaven, teaching and rising. And then when he is dead, meaning Messiah is dead, the Ruach HaKodesh will come when Yeshua is dead and risen, like Metushelach is dead, the flood waters came. Now we go to verse 24. Is anyone enjoying? Yes. All right, other than the front, anyone? Oh, Bruno's, I'm, I'm, he's okay. If Bruno's with me, I'm okay. If Bruno's for me, who can be against me? Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Bereshit 524. Bereshit 524. Hanok had his halakha with Elohim, and he was not. Very good. And Metushelach, notice verse 25, Bereshit 5.25. Metushelach mean begot, I'm sorry, begot Lamech. 
la mer. Could it be could it be yet? La mer. La mer means, listen, la mer means despair. That's what it means. I can't be more eloquent than that. That's what it means. I was looking for another word, and I couldn't find it. It means despair. For when we get the English word, here's another proof that all languages originated from Hebrew, from where we get the English word lament, como lamentation. La mer, to despair, to lament. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Where do we see that? Go to Mati Yahweh. Mati Yahweh, not the rap artist, the author of the gospel. Mati Yahweh 5.4. My daughter tells me there's some guy out of, you know what I'm, some guy out there, Mati Yahweh. No, no, no. This is a different, this is the real dude. This is the real McCohen. Mati Yahweh 5.4. Mati Jahu, Mateo, 5-4. Blessed are they who lamech, mourn, are in despair, for they shall be Noah, comforted. The Hebrew word for comforted is Noah, meaning blessed is, here's a remez, what is a remez? A hint. In the Pashat, we see the Beatitudes, amen? The Beatitudes are, blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. But there are four primary levels of Hebraic interpretation. There is Remesh, Pashat, Drash, and so on. Four primary levels of Hebraic interpretation. Pashat, Remesh, Drash, and so on. Let's jump down from the literal, simple Pashat to the hint. Here's the hint of Matthew 5.4. Ready? Mourning, despair, Lamech, leads to comfort, or Noah. Lamech begot Noah. Is anybody getting this? Lamech, or despair, you have turned my mourning into joy. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning, Tehillim 34 and 5. Weeping endures for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Lamech may come for a night, but there is Noah coming upon you in the morning. Now watch this. Watch this. So Lamech means despair. For we get the English word such as lament, lamentations. Listen, the death of the risen teacher Yeshua, Metushalach, will die after Enoch, after the blessed ale comes down teaching and rising. When the blessed ale comes down teaching and rising, and when the blessed teacher who came down dies, then it will lead to despair. Yeshua said to the Tommy Dean, you will weep, but your weeping will be turned to joy. The world will yes. rejoice when I'm gone, yes. but you will weep when I'm gone. But I will turn your weeping into joy because I live, saith Yahshua, you shall live also somebody. The world will rejoice. They're going to throw a party when I'm gone. But he says, but your weeping will be turned to joy. And you will rejoice. And they will, I will come again to receive you unto myself. Amen. So that where I am, you may be also. So the death of the risen teacher leads to the despair of the world. When, when, when the risen teacher ascends and Methuselah dies, there will be the despair of the nation of the world in the days of Noah. Go back to Genesis. Back to Bereshit. 528. Tadara Rabbi Yahweh. Tadara Rabbi Yahweh. Tadara Rabbi Yahweh. Bereshit. 528. Okay, let's look at verse 27. And all the days of Methuselah, 969 years, and he died. And Lamech lived 182 years, and he begat a son, Bereshit 529. And Lamech called his name Noah, saying, this one shall be. 
this one shall comfort us concerning our work, meaning our work as sinners and our anger that we've worked in our rebellion in the face of Yahweh, and the toil, the hardship of our fallen lives as fallen human beings before Yahweh. Look at the end of verse 29. Because of the ground that Yahweh has cursed. And all the days of Lamech were 777 years old. 777 is boom. The perfect timing of Yahweh is about to kick in for the comfort of the world. When Yeshua, the blessed El, descends and then rises, teaching and rising, when he dies, then the despair of the believers will be turned into comfort. With the comfort, Yeshua said, it is expedient that I go away, because if I go not away, the comforter will not come. But I go away, and when I go away, I will send him in my name. Even the outpouring of the Ruach HaKodesh was prophesied in the first nine descendants of Adam v'chava. I have not skipped a single generation. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Noah, Noah, listen, means comfort. The saved will receive comfort out of despair. Comfort will come to the despairing by the teacher's death, rising, and teaching. His Ruach HaKodesh will result in Noah for all because it says when the perfect despair comes in, Lama 777, Yahweh's perfect comfort will come in through Noah. And we see in the very next, um, somewhere down there, somewhere down there, it says Noah found grace in the eyes of Yahweh. Amen? Okay, now, so the saved will receive comfort out of despair. Comfort will come through the teacher's descent, death, teachings, and his rising. And that will result in Noah, through the Ruach HaKodesh, comfort of Yahweh, being poured upon him. What does John 1.12 say? Very good. He came to his own, and his own received him not. But as many as did receive him, to them he gave the power to become B'nai Elohim, somebody. So when we go through the despair of our trials, many are the afflictions of the righteous, Psalm 34, 19. But Yahweh delivers him out of them all, somebody. To that of Yahweh. So the comfort will come. The Ruach will come. He will turn our mourning, our Lamech, into Noah. And while the world has experienced judgment, we experience Noah. Yochanan 16.33 says, in the world you will have Lamech, you will have tribulation, but in me you will have Shalom. Fear not, for I have overcome the world, Yeshua said. The world has Lamech, you have Noah. The world has Lamech, you have Noah. The world has Lamech, you have Noah. In the world you will have Lamech, but in me you will have Shalom, says Yeshua. Fear not, for I have overcome the world. Israel means overcome, to overcome. If you're overcoming the world, the flesh, and the devil, you are Israel. All of Adam's children, listen, who receive this message of Noah, will escape the flood of Yahweh's judgment in the end days. Go to, with me to Luke 21, 35. Luke 21, 35. Is anyone enjoying? Amen. How about out in the back? Is anyone enjoying? Amen. Luke 21, 35. For like a downpour of the judgment of the end time, like in Noah's day. Luke 21, 35. Mm. Mm. I like it. Look at this. Like a downpour, circle those words downpour, it will come to trap all those who dwell on the face of the whole earth. 
Watch therefore, and make tefillah always, that you will be accounted worthy to escape all the things that shall come to pass, and to stand before the Bidadam. The floods of judgment will come in the last days. But Yahweh says, if you believe the gospel, you will be like Noah, comfort in the midst of judgment, comfort in the midst of confusion, comfort in the midst of violence, comfort in the midst of chaos, ah, comfort in the midst of agony. You will be like Noah in the safety of the body of Yeshua, which is Noah's ark, this body of Yeshua floating on the waters of trouble and tribulation. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 7 it is the time of Jacob's trouble ha! but Jacob shall be saved out of it can I get a witness